Hi, in this short video, we're going to cover kind of a um, advanced portion of attributes and creating variations for the products that you sell in your WooCommerce website shop. Um, we've gone right over here to the attributes link in the side menu here and pulled up this page that you see here. What we're going to do, what you would use this function for is when you have an attribute or a variation that you use a lot in your different products. So one example and the example we're going to use here is processing time. Let's say that you have different um, options available for processing time and those potentially come with different price points so if somebody wants to speed up their processing time then they pay a little bit more of a premium fee to um, get that service so what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a an attribute called processing time and we're going to save that here. So we're going to enable it here. The slug will fill in naturally unless you want something um, unique in there, but it will generate from the name that you've selected here. Um, we're going to leave the type as select because we're looking for items to show up in a drop down menu. And then our default sort order is going to be custom ordering so that you can drag and drop the options around. Um, rather than them being locked in and we're going to go ahead and um, add that attribute and then we're going to come over here to this gear and configure that attribute uh, to set up the options that will be available so uh, let's say that the first option is three to five days and we're going to go ahead and add that here and let's say that the second option is one to two weeks and we're going to go ahead and add that here. So now we've set up that processing time as an attribute and we've set two options under that which um, are three to five days and one to two weeks. And how you would use this, this information that's been set up as kind of a default, if you will, of options that are available. Um, you come over here when you're adding a product and you would scroll down to the product data area. Again, you're going to change it to the variable product just like we did in the other video. You're going to come down here to attributes and here where you have the option to select a custom product attribute, you're going to cr click on that and you're going to see that your processing time is already set up and available for you there. So you're going to click on that one and you're going to click to add it and you're going to see now that it's included as an attribute. Um, but you need to select the values and so we know that we put in three to five days as well as uh, one to two weeks. So you can select all and it will stick the, both of those in there or select none or you can add something totally different if this product perhaps has um, a different level of processing time than other products. Uh, that you want to add in. If you want to select specific ones you can click on the box and what you have available is going to show up here. So we have one to two weeks and we, we're going to add that and then we have three to five days and we're going to add that. Um, you do want them likely to be in order of uh, depending on what they are. In this case it's kind of nice to have a shorter one on top and the longer one on the bottom but uh, for whatever reason you might choose to have it in there differently um, but make sure that they're in the order that you want them to be in and again as we did in the other video we're going to click to use these for variations and we're going to go ahead and save them and then we're going to come right back over to this menu here where you see variations and we're going to click on that like we did in the other video and we're going to say that we want it to create variations from the attributes that we just set up, which in this case would be the processing time. And it's going to just to populate those for us. And then we have the option over here with that arrow like we used in the other video to change the time. So let's say that the original product is $5 and 
standard processing of one to two weeks there isn't an additional fee for that so we're just going to type in five dollars here and then we're going to come down to um, this three to five days which is a little faster and let's say that the product is five dollars again but we charge an extra three dollars for this faster shipping option making the total eight dollars we're going to go ahead and add that in and then as always remember to save the options and uh, once you've saved that part you also need to remember to either save as a draft if you're not ready to go live or publish if you're all ready for it to be viewable on your website in your shop um, and that is it so if you do have uh, attributes and variations that you use on a lot of products in your store and you don't want to have to go through and manually type in all that information using this option right here is a great way to get them set up the way that you want them and have access to them on any product that you need them at the click of a button. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.